if I'm feeling bad about my body, going to the gym to get there at first is truly nightmarish. But when you get there, I feel like I belong in the Olympics. Excuse me. Everybody needs to see this. The gym is a very intimidating place, I think especially as a woman. There are mirrors everywhere. Oh gosh, look at that little thing. Oh gosh, look at this little thing. Oh man, I need to work on this, my shoulders a little bit more, especially if they're around people who are very competitive and kind of obnoxious about the workout routines. I think because I grew up as an athlete, for me, like when I'm using my body, I'm almost like, it's a reminder for me that what my body's good for. That being said, when you have a t-shirt and you're sweating and you're looking at yourself in the mirror, it's and there are models, like, <laughs> you're like, okay, I gotta go. The thing about going to the gym is you need to wear certain clothes to even work out and feel comfortable. And these clothes can be a little more revealing on certain body types. Typically, I don't wear just a sports bra and leggings to the gym. I want to have my athletic top over it to like hide whatever I'm feeling weird about, whether it's my stomach or my boobs coming out of my top. There's a plus size person who has been in the past like super fit versus a person that has dealt with like chronic illness issues. The gym can be hard depending on what gym you go to, depending on what kind of clientele they've had. I've been in gyms that have been super welcoming and have had people of all sizes and ages and health levels. I also currently go to a gym the first week there, somebody literally commented, oh, they really let all sorts of people in here. It's hard for us to go into the gym or to be seen doing any kind of activities because people people stare, people look. So it's like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. They see us in the gym, they point, they laugh. Oh, look at that fat girl. Every time I went, I had anxiety because women didn't look like me. They weren't my size. And I felt like I was getting stares in the locker room, on the treadmill, whispers. The thing that's so hard is it's always a spectacle whether you want it to be or not. If someone's not commenting on the fact that you're, you know, shouldn't be seen doing what you're doing, then they're like cheering you on. On, like it's some type of novelty. Like when people see me a lot of times, they'll be like, yay, go girl, keep running. You can do it. You can change your life. But I'm like, I do this every Saturday. I feel like people pathologize fatness so much as it is that I don't want to be like, I have this, this, this. And they're going to be like, this, 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 this. Like a whole, it, you know how trolls are. Nobody owes you their health or their diagnoses or what causes their health issues, whether it's through fatness or unrelated to. What matters is that we create safe environments for people to express their bodily autonomy and move meaningfully if they want to, no matter what. You have to get to a point where you have to say, you know what, if I want to go to the gym, I'm going to go to the gym. It took me many years. I used to feel very uncomfortable going to the gym, but I started looking at it from a different perspective. Like, obviously, if we're all in the gym, it's because we have something that we need to work on or we want to work on for ourselves. What counts is that you take that first step. There's no time frame. If it takes you a year, it does not matter. What matters is how you feel about yourself because at the end of the day, that's self-care. That's what comes first. You taking care of you, 